Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by Gospel Beast. This is part two. This is an upgrade to a previous video I did with the AWS Cloud Certified Cloud Practitioner exam. And this is my personal study guide. These are my study questions I created from when I took the exam. These are not the actual questions, but these are some uh, questions I made up to help study and use like a cheat sheet do not use this as your only source to study this is something that can help you you know keep the information fresh and to kinda like a cheat sheet um, so this is an upgrade from my previous video because I had a few comments um, and I made a couple mistakes that I wanted to fix on this video I also added some extra material that people left in the comments about what they saw on the exam that wasn't in the previous PowerPoint so I went ahead and added it to this one so if you do take the exam and you see a question that's not covered um, in one of the topics please leave it in the comment please leave if you actually pass the exam you can leave that as well if you failed the exam you know what was the toughest part about it um, your passing score what was your score stuff like that That'd be awesome for what um, so with that said let's go ahead and begin alright so what is AWS responsible for in the responsibility model select two alright so we got a customer data B operating system C firewall D heating and cooling of data center E network F storage the answer is D heating and cooling of data center and F storage All right, which is not necessarily a cloud trail feature All right, A securely and reliability handles a broad set of big data B government compliance risk auditing C log monitor retain records record events across AWS D cloud watch can use this information to take action answer is a securely and reliability handles a broad set of big data total cost of ownership consists of which of the following select two a TCO calculator B based on the pop popular Jupyter notebook C let lets you dive deeper into your costs and uses data to identify trends, pinpoint cost drivers and detect anomalies. D pay as you go model. E offers fully managed Redis and M cached. A TCO calculator. D pay as you go model. Which is not necessarily a cost explorer feature. A can be created and tracked from the AWS budgets dashboard. B easy to use interface, visualize, understand, manage costs and usage over time. C dive deeper in cost usage data, identify trends, pinpoint cost drivers, detect anomalies. D future forecasting. Answer A can be created and tracked from AWS budgets dashboard. Which is a feature of Trusted Advisor? A. Customized Cloud Expert Delayed Time Software B. It will inspect your AWS environment for performance C. It will inspect your AWS environment for reliability D. It will inspect AWS environment for security Answer A. Customized Cloud Expert Delayed Time Software Real Time which is not necessarily a feature of consolidated billing. A. One bill. You get one bill for multiple accounts. B. Easy tracking. You can track the changes across multiple accounts. C. Combined usage. You can combine the use, usage across all accounts in the organization. D. Auto scaling. Ensures that your application is able to receive traffic. D. Auto scaling. Ensures that your application is able to receive track traffic which is managed distributed denial of service DDOS protection service that safeguards applications running on AWS 
A. AWS Shield. B. CloudFront. C. Security Group. D. CloudTrail. Answer A. AWS Shield. Which acts as a firewall that controls traffic allowed to reach one or more instances? A. DDoS Security. I'm sorry, Response Team. B. Security Group. C. CloudFront. D. Edge location. Edge location. Answer B. Security Group. Which is not true about penetration testing? A. Get permissions from AWS first. B. It can be done on your infrastructure only. C. You must be logged into AWS port portal using the root credentials. D. You don't have to request permission if you are testing in your own AWS VPC environment. D. You don't have to request permission if you're testing in your own AWS VPC environment. True or false? Before performing security testing on AWS resources, you should obtain approval from AWS. True. Which is which is network service that provides an alternative to using the internet to connect customers on premise sites to AWS? A. Managed VPN. B. AWS Direct Connect. B. AWS Direct Connect. Which is a hardware IP, IPsec that enables you to create an encrypted connection over the public internet? A. AWS Managed VPN. B. AWS Direct Connect. A. AWS Managed VPN. Which is not a fe feature of Amazon Inspector? A. Automated Security Assessment Service that improves security and compliance of applications deployed. B. Automatically assesses applications for exposure, vulnerabilities, deviations from best practices. C is an API driven service that analyzes network configurations in your AWS account. D manage subnet in your VPC to protect against incoming traffic. D manage subnet in your VPC to, to protect against incoming traffic requests. True or false? An I'm role is similar to a user that is and AWS identity with permission policies that determine what the identity can and cannot do in AWS. True. Which is a non-relational database? A. RDS. B. DynamoDB. C. MySQL. D. Aurora. Answer. B. DynamoDB. Which is infrequent, infrequently accessed data archives? A. Glacier. B. S3. C. CloudFront. D. CloudWatch. E. Edge Location. Answer A. Glacier. Which instance type gives a discount up to 75% compared to on demand instance pricing? A. Reserve Instance B. Spot Instance C. Dedicated Host D. On Demand Answer A. Reserve Instance Which instance types gives a discount up to 90% compared to On Demand Instant, instant Pricing? A. Reserve Instance B. Spot Instance C. Dedicated Host D. On Demand Answer B. Spot instance. Which instance type can be interrupted? A. Reserve instance. B. Spot instance. C. Dedicated host. D. On demand. Answer B. Spot instance. Which instance type cannot be interrupted? A. Reserve instance. B. Spot instance. C. Dedicated host D on demand. Answer D on demand. 
which instance type can help reduce costs by allowing you to use existing server bound software licenses? A. Reserve instance. B. Spot instance. C. Dedicated host. D. On demand. Answer. C. Dedicated host. Which is not a feature of Elastic Beanstalk. A. Provisions and operate the infrastructure and manage the application stack platform for you so you don't have to spend time or develop the expertise. B. Automatically scale your application up and down based on your application specific need using easily adjustable auto scaling settings. C. Maintains the minimal version of an environment is always running in the cloud. D. Keep the underlying platform running your application up to date with the latest patches and updates. Answer. C. Maintains the minimal version of an environment is always running in the cloud. Which best describes a feature of CloudFront? Sorry, CloudFormation. A is available through AWS for a low fee. B allows you to use a simple text file to model, model and provision all resources needed for your applications. C allows you to model a small portion of infrastructure in a text file. D uses multiple files serving multiple service sources of truth for your cloud environment. B allows you to use a simple text file to model and provision all the resources needed for your applications. Which is not a feature of Amazon Direct Connect. A easy to set up a dedicated network connection from your premises to AWS. B can reduce network costs, increase bandwidth, provide consistent network experience that internet connections than internet connections. C can be a VPN connection. D codifying your infrastructure allow you to treat your infrastructure as just code. Answer D codifying your infrastructures. Infrastructure allows you to treat your infrastructure as as just code. Which is not a feature of SQS. A diverting traffic to instances based on demand and least load. B fully managed message queuing service that enables you to, de to decouple and manage microservices, distributed systems, and serverless applications. C. You can send, store, and receive messages between software components, components at any volume without losing messages or requiring other services to be available. D. Can send messages to and receive messages from a Amazon SQSQ. Answer A. Diverting traffic to instance based on the demand and lease load. True or false, S3 durability is 99 point a bunch of nines and S3 is available 99.99. .99. True or false, that's true. True or false, AWS config service that enables you to access audit and evaluate the configurations of your AWS resources. Config continu continuously monitors and records your AWS resource configurations and allows you to automate the evaluation of recorded configurations against desired configurations. Answers true. True or false. VPN stands for Visual Private Cloud. False is Virtual Private Cloud. Which framework is not necessarily associated with EMR Select 2? A. Hadoop. B. HBase. C. Ajax. D. Flint. E. Apache Spark. F. jQuery. Answer. C. Ajax. And F. jQuery. Which is not a feature of AMI? A. Provides information required to launch an instance. B. You must specify source AMI when you launch an instance. C. You can launch multiple instances from a single AMI. D. Service and securely delivers data, video, videos, applications. Answer D. Service that securely delivers data, videos, applications. 
which best suits this definition. Offers fully managed Redis and MCache, real-time apps, gaming, ride hailing, media streaming, dating, social media store as database cache, message broker queue, real-time transactions. A. Snapshot. B. Amazon Elastic Cache. C. S3. D. AMI. Answer B. Amazon Elastic Cache. Which best suits this definition? Fast content delivery network CDN service that securely delivers data, videos, applications, and APIs to customers globally with low latency, high transfer speeds, all within a developer friendly environment using edge locations. A. CloudFront. B. Amazon Elastic Cash. C. AWS Marketplace. D. Auto Scaling. Answer is A. CloudFront. Which is a feature of Snapshot? A. Are incremental backups? B. Can continu continuously monitor your AWS resource? C. Can receive messages between applications? Sorry about that. Um, can receive messages between software components at any volume? D. Enables you to decouple and scale microservices? Answer A are incremental backups which best suits this definition sales channel that makes it easy for sellers to offer software solutions that run on the AWS cloud a acceptable use policy B service control policies SCPs C AWS marketplace D AWS store answer is C AWS marketplace which definitions is not correct accessible use policy describes prohibited actions B policy document that provides a formal statement of one or more permissions provides formal statement of permissions resource action effects principle JSON what users can do C. Service control policies, SCP, manages your organization is strict at the account level of granularity. What services and actions the users, groups, and roles in those accounts can do? PCI compliant software that has the ability to patch itself. Answer D. C. PCI compliant software that has the ability to patch itself. The payment card industry data security standard PCI DD DSS Amazon's offer those offer those services, which is not associated with AWS support plans. A basic, B developer, C advanced, D business, E enterprise support concierge. Answer: C advanced. Okay, true or false, AWS Management Console is a command line base on your local host. And the answer is false. It's a web-based user interface. All right, so that's it. That about wraps it up. So again, this, this tutorial just kind of helps you and get in the question mode because they're gonna ask you know tricky questions to try to trip you up so if you see my other video on just basically going over the topics or subjects that's going to be asked in the exam this kinda it's the same material it just kinda is in question form to help you think of it as far as like uh, trying to answer questions so if you watch your first tutorial you should be able to look at this tutorial and figure out the answers because that's basically what I did. I took the the information from the other tutorial and I just made it into in a question in a question form to kind of help you remember the information. So again, let me know your thoughts and your you know your exam experience and stuff like that in the comments. And I hope this helps.